guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshesworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today we are dealing with some of the core components in Java. So let's understand some of the basic essentials of Java. So let me start with some of the basic concepts, something known as JVM, JRE, and JDK. So now, what is JRE, what is JDK, and what is JVM? So before getting to know, we have to know how to install this and what it is, right? So now I'll try to go to this link, which you are seeing on my desktop, on my notepad. So this is the official link where you'll be able to install JDK for your laptops or for your PCs. So now this is the link. Now you can see some of the versions of JDK, right? You have something known as JDK, you have something known as JRE, and other components. So now if I click on this JDK, right? So when I click on this, you'll be pulled to another tab where you'll be seeing the JDK specific to a platform. See now I'm using Windows, so I should be downloading the Windows JDK. So now before downloading and getting to know, we have to understand some of the basic components, something like what is JDK, what is JRE, what is JVM right so what i'll try to do i'll try to explain you all these concepts in the form of boxes so right so i'll try to create few boxes and we'll try to understand what is jvm what is jre where is jre where is jdk and let's try to see what has to be installed and why this website is giving an options like this so we'll try to see all of these things so now consider a box i'll try to write a box so in this box I try to consider this has my JVM. So I try to write this has my JVM. So what is a JVM, right? So whenever you write a Java program that has to be compiled. So whenever you try to compile a Java code, it will be converted to a bytecode. So now who converts this? Now JVM helps in conversion of a Java code to a bytecode. Now how it does? JVM acts as an interpreter where it, it writes to read the code line by line and it tries to convert to the bytecode. So the other name for JVM is nothing but an interpreter. So now JVM is specific to a platform. Now if you are using a Windows system, you need to have a JVM with respect to Windows. Now Java programs can be written anywhere and can be run on any platform. So now how do you do that? Now if you have a Windows machine or if you have a Linux machine, so you try to install JVM with respect to those operating systems. So now if I go back to this link, right? So if I go back to this link, you'll be installing the JDK with respect to the operating system that you try to use on your PC. So now we come back to the explanation. So consider this as a JVM, wherein you get your simple Java class converted to a bytecode using JVM, right? So we have some of the components or we have some of the tools supporting for your compilation, right? So what I'll try to do, I'll try to put one more box. So I'll try to name this as my tools. There are many tools actually. So may, there are many tools. In the coming classes, we'll try to understand what are those tools and why you be needed. So there is another command, something known as Java. So this helps me to compile the program or run the program. So the simple syntax, something known as Java, will help me to run it. Fine. So now we have some core libraries, which default Java gives. So why, what are these libraries? And we also call that as an API. So now I'll try to write this in a separate box. So I'll try to write this as my Java APIs, Java APIs. So what is an API? Application programming interface. So in the coming videos, we'll see what is an API. Or we, I can, as of now, I can write it as libraries. You know, I can write it as libs, which helps me in order to support some of my coding. So we, I'll try to write it as libraries. So these set of tools, right? These set of components, I try to put it in another box. So this, I'll name it as my JRE. So now what my JRE consists of? My JRE would be consistent of a JVM, the tools, necessary tools in order to run my program that I have written, 
and some of the APIs. Now, there are a few commands that we try to use when we try to run our Java program. So what I try to do, I'll try to put that in another box, right? So I'll try to put it in another box, something known as Java C. So now what is Java C does? Java C helps us to compile my Java code, right? All this, all this, whatever you're seeing on my desktop consists would be in JRE. So now what is the JRE consist of? The JRE consist of JVM, the tools and the necessary libraries. So now we are in a position to run the program. So now we have to write the program as well, right? So now, which helps us to write a program? So the JRE helps us in compilation or running a program. So now if we want to write a program, yeah, definitely. You know, without writing a program, we cannot run it, right? So now I'll try to write another rectangle box. I'll try to name this as JDK, right? So JDK, it's nothing but a tool where it helps us me to write the programs. Now, whatever you try to install, on your system, right? I'll try to go to this. And what is that we are installing? Java Software Development Kit, right? So it's nothing but Java Software Development Kit. So I can uh, try to rename this as JSDK. So Java Software Development Kit. What does this kit consist of? It helps us to write me a program, run the program, and see the output. So one of the important components that we need to understand here is JVM. So now, if you're trying to use a Windows system, you need to have a JVM specific to Windows. So now if I go to this link, right, you'll be having JVM and the JDK, you know, JDK has, we have specified, would be consisting of JRE, JRE in, in turn would be consisting of JVM, Java tools and the libraries. So whenever you try to install something on JDK and we try to put it in some path, what we are installing, we are installing all this component and JRE helps in runtime execution and JDK helps in building a Java application. So now where you need to install it, you know, try to go to this link, you know, this link and try to press download. So whenever I try to accept the library and when I click on this, you know, if it's, it, it's in 64 bit or 32 bit machine, try to click on this, you'll be able to save it. So now once you get that file, what do you have to do? When you try to install, the default installation would be happening on program files. So let that happen and it's fine. So one important component after you install your JDK is you have to make sure your path is set. So how do you set the path? You have to go to the environment variables. So once you get into the environment variables, you have to specify the path. So you have to create a new variable with the name Java home, right? So once you do this and you have to specify the folder, right? You have to specify where is your JDK installed. So now when you try to download this and we try to click next, 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 it would be installed in the default location that is program files. And in your Java, it will try to create a new folder, something known as Java, and you'll be having your JDK. So now you have to specify this path in the environment variable Java underscore home. So once you're done, now your setup is ready and you know what a JRE consists of. JRE helps in execution of a program. The whole component in order to write and ex execute a Java program, we use JDK. In the coming videos, we'll try to see which are the necessary tools that is there in Java, which helps us to build a Java application with an IDE. So we'll try to see what is an IDE in the coming videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Java videos. Get updated with our portal www.freshersworld.com for more Java related jobs. Thank you.